All right, so here we have my light gun image for the Steam Deck. This has over 300 titles on it for a bunch of different collections. So we're gonna take a full tour here. We're gonna go collection by collection, jump into each one so you can see exactly how everything is laid out. So we're gonna kick everything off with the all games list. This is the master list. You can see at the bottom there of the bezel, a little bit hard to see here, but it says right down here, just over 300 titles total. So we're gonna jump into this collection. Now I'm controlling everything from a keyboard. You can see that up here, I do have my Steam Deck connected to my docking station, just to make this a little bit easier so I'm not having to maneuver everything um, with the handheld itself on camera. So we're gonna jump here into our all games list. Now there is audio as well as background music. So you would get in this case here, audio for the video preview there. And then when you're just scrolling through the collection, you'll have background music. I just brought the volume down for the sake of this video. So this right here is going to be again, every single title in here. So it starts off with 007 at the top for Nintendo Wii. And you can just scroll down the list. So if you don't know what collection the game you're looking for belongs to, you can just scroll down this list here. Um, there's also shortcuts to jump to certain letters so you don't have to scroll you know, title by title. But this is what everything is going to look like within each collection. You're going to have your text list on the right-hand side. Video preview that populates into the screen on the arcade cabinet there. And then left-hand side, you'll see that we have logo up here in the top left corner. Right below that, usually you'll have a image from the game as well. So you can see some of these are going to have the jacket or... Um, box art, some are gonna have screenshots, but it all ties together really nicely. We also get some information over here as to when the title was released, the genre, how many players, and a rating system as well. So you can see how popular each title is. So we're gonna back out of the all games list. Continuing on, we have favorites here. This hasn't yet been populated in, which you can see by that fuzzy screen. You can add specific titles to this collection so you can easily access them. Next collection down is Classic Arcade. This is one of my favorite collections. This is MAME. This is gonna be where you find all those early, um, early 90s, late 80s light gun games. So Area uh, 51's in here. Alien 3 The Gun is a classic, which is what we're highlighting right now. Let me drop down to Area 51. So you see the video preview there. And again, all of this would have audio as well. Uh, Carnival, this is another one that I love. I've done a bunch of videos with this game on the channel. Lots of great stuff in here. Of course, we've got Time Crisis. Let me loop around since it's in alphabetical order. I can do that from the other side. We have Terminator 2 Judgment Day, but here is Time Crisis right here, the original. And you don't have to play these obviously just on the Steam Deck itself here as a handheld. You can connect this with the docking station to your TV or monitor. Everything is plug and play in terms of using the Sindin light guns, or you can use a Mayflash Dolphin Bar with a Wii Remote if you'd like. That's what I use for the Wii collection, but we'll talk about that more when we get to the Wii collection. Next one is FB Neo right here. Inside here you can see, you're gonna see some duplicates in this from the MAME collection, like the top one there, Alien 3 The Gun, but lots of great stuff in here. Backing out. We have Atari 2600. This is a really small collection. There's only two titles in here, but these games are actually pretty cool. So you can see the previews for each of these. Definitely challenging as well. Uh, continuing on, we have Commodore 64, another relatively small collection in here, but some really cool classic light gun games. Now the next collection down is Nintendo Entertainment System. This is where you're gonna find Duck Hunt, Hogan's Alley, all those classic NES light gun games. Take a look at Duck Hunt here. This is what I play the majority of the time on this particular collection. So backing out again, Super Nintendo, not a massive collection for Super Nintendo, but some great titles nonetheless. Going down, we have Wii. Now this is probably one of the most underrated collections for light gun games. And for this collection, you're not gonna get into this with the Sindin light gun. You're gonna need the Mayflash Dolphin Bar along with an original Nintendo Wii remote. But once you plug in your Mayflash Dolphin Bar and you pair it with your Wii remote, the experience here is flawless. This is exactly like using a Nintendo Wii console. So we have a ton of games in here. 
Some of them are like kind of a throwback sort of feel, and some of them you can actually play along with a nunchuck as well by connecting that to your Wii Remote. So tons of great stuff in here. This is one of my favorites, Big Buck Hunter Pro. This is kind of like a combination of all the Big Buck Hunter games all in one. I've done a bunch of videos on this title as well. Bunch of Cabela um, hunting games, but we also have like Call of Duty in here. Lots of great stuff. So highly, highly, highly underrated in the Nintendo Wii collection. So let's back out. Here we have yet another classic collection of light gun games. Corpse Killer in there is my personal favorite. Um, Demolition Man is also a great title as well. Continuing on, this is going to be Ports here and Pi Game. These just come along with Botticera, so not too um, interesting there, but this is a pretty cool trivia game if you're into that. A Thomas Wave here, a couple titles in here, Extreme Hunting, which is a great title, and Ranger Mission. Not as familiar with this second one here, but I have played Extreme Hunting quite a bit. Moving on, we have Sega Master System. Handful of games in here. Ram uh, Rambo 3 is probably my favorite in here. Love this game. Such a cool uh, way to play with a light gun. You certainly don't need a light gun for this one. You can use a joystick. But to play this with a light gun is an absolute blast. Continuing on, we have Mega Drive here from Sega. Lethal Enforcers 1 and 2. Probably two of the most popular light gun games and definitely a big part of the history of light gun uh, games for these retro collections. Here we have Sega CD. You're going to find some more Lethal Enforcers in here, but Mad Dog McCree is definitely a classic as well. Mad Dog 2 up here as well. Continuing on, we're going to jump into Sega Saturn, another one of my favorite collections. So many amazing games in here. Area 51, for example. We also have uh, the Die Hard games, um, Crypt Killer is a good one, Virtual Cop 1 and 2. And then we also, of course, have to have the House of the Dead. This is the original House of the Dead game. I'm actually uh, partial to House of the Dead 2, but the original is an awesome title nonetheless. So Model 3 now from Sega. In here we have a handful of games. Now I will mention Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Not truly an arcade game. For this you really need to have a um, one of those flight stick controllers. But it's such a classic, iconic game. I had to include it in here. Um, I love playing that game, though. Bunch of videos on the channel for the Star Wars Arcade. Jurassic Park The Lost World is also a great light gun game. Works on here with the Sinden light gun plug and play. Continuing on, we have Dreamcast. Another one of my favorite collections here. Confidential Mission, uh, Death Crimson, Death Crimson OX, The House of the Dead 2, and Virtual Cop 2. House of the Dead 2 is probably my favorite in here, but lots of great stuff. Virtual Cop 2 is a close second. Moving on, we have Sega Naomi. And inside here, Confidential Mission again. Ninja Assault is fun. And The Maze of Kings is one of my probably top five favorite light gun games on this build. So definitely check that one out. Continuing on, we have PlayStation. Bunch of light gun games for PlayStation. Crypt Killer is an awesome one. Die Hard Trilogy, a lot of fun. Uh, Judge Dredd, I love. We also have this for MAME, Classic Arcade. The Point Blank games are good. We also have some Time Crisis down here. So there's two. There's Time Crisis and then there's Project Titan. Both are an absolute blast. Again, totally plug and play. And that is our final collection. We are back to the all games list. So that is the entire image here of all these amazing light gun games. Feel free to hit me up in the comment section or reach out to me directly through my website via email. If you have any questions about this at all, always happy to help you guys out any way that I can. This is an absolute blast. All of these games are plug and play. The only difference is you are going to want to have, like I said before, the Mayflash Dolphin Bar with the original Wii Remote to play the Nintendo Wii collection on here. Everything else will work either with the Wii Remote and Mayflash Dolphin Bar or with the Sinden Light Gun, which is probably the way that I would recommend going. I just love the Sinden Light Guns. I think everybody has been really enjoying those since they came out, especially now that we have Botticera integrating that software into all of their um, newest updates from Botticera 35 and on. So 
You guys know the drill, smash the thumbs up button on the video if you enjoyed this. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you on the next video.